me. Right. I'm not talking to anybody on this floor. See, while many of us are born males, we have to be taught how to be a man, and therein lies our challenge. Mm -hmm. See, many of us have grown up and either dad was not there, or if dad was there, he wasn't engaged. Can I talk for just a second? Talk, talk, talk. Uh, most of us, like myself, I grew up and uh, I, I, I didn't grow up in the house with my father. And, 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 and I never had an opportunity uh, in life to spend the night at my father's house because my mother had me when she was 16 and my, my father was 17. And they went on to have relationships and get married to other people. And so my mother and my stepmother didn't get along. And so I could never spend the night in my dad's house. So I didn't grow up with my biological father. But then I grew up in the house with my stepfather. And my, my stepfather wasn't the greatest of people. He was a, a great provider. But there were, on any given day, he was high and or drunk. So that was just the lifestyle that we led. And so, so therefore, many of us grew up in situations that even if dad was physically in the house, he was not physically in the house. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so therefore, there's a challenge, men of God, because we're expected to do something and we're expected to be something right. that we may have never been taught ourselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How? Mike, how do I do something and be something when I never had anybody to share those things with me? Mm -hmm. Come on, talk about it. My dad never taught me how to shave. I figured it out on my own. Mm -hmm. My dad didn't teach me how to handle my finances. I learned how to figure it out on my own. My dad didn't tell me how to be a father. I figured it out on my own. See, the challenge that we have, men of God, is we've been called to be something right. while not knowing how to do it. Mm -hmm. Come Just on, stay with me on this morning, men of God. Right, help me, help me. See, so with society, the internet, TV shows, and even cartoons often giving men today a very bad name, we cannot allow those things to force us to hang our head low. In spite of all these things, men of God, we have to learn how to keep our heads up. Look at David say, you got to keep your head up. You got to keep your head up. Say it with more power. Say, you got to keep your head up. You got to keep your head up. So it's important for us to understand what it means on Father's Day. So for a few moments on today, since it is Father's Day, we're talking about what it means to be a man. All right. See, manhood is a very stressful subject matter. Every male is called to be a man However, however, very few know what one is. Right. Oftentimes, we have people in our family and our friends that teach us the ropes and share with us the things about life. Uh, so therefore, because of these things, as men, we often uh, define ourselves in a few ways. Uh, one, as men, we define ourselves by what we do. Look at them and say, what do we do? What do we do? So the first conversation that we most men have, we introduce ourselves, and the first question we ask the man is, so what do you do? Yeah, that's true. Because we define ourselves by what we do. Not who we are, what we do. Yeah, that's right, true. Right, right. What's your job? Where do you work? You know, what, what, you know so how are you providing for yourself? So we define ourselves by what we do. We define ourselves by who we know. Because those connections, from a man's standpoint, is important. Because it's, 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 it's what we do and who we know. Because who we know can, can, can help us eventually with what we do. Uh, and so therefore, uh, what we do, who we know, and or what we own. So as men, we define ourselves by what we do, what we drive, what we wear, what we live in, because those things begin to speak to us as men. So as men, when we don't have the right things to wear, when we don't have the right thing to drive, when we don't have the right place to live in, somehow we feel less of a man because we define ourselves 
ourselves by either what we do or what we own. Am I talking to anybody on this one? So therefore, as men, we struggle when we don't have stuff. And so women of God, you got to understand how we're wired. you got to know how we're wired. So therefore, we're always trying to figure out what we have because somehow what we have makes me feel better. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And when I don't have, you can pat on the back and say, baby, it's going to be all right. But in our mind, it's not all right because we don't have those things by which we define ourselves with. So I mean, see now y'all going to make me work a little bit on this morning. See, because of these challenges, uh, we have challenges to define ourselves. And because this is a challenge, it leads us to have challenges in our search for significance. Because if I don't have, if I'm not doing the right thing from a career standpoint, and I don't have the right things based upon what society says I should have, then all of a sudden now, I don't feel like I'm as good of a man. Mm. Wow. Right, right. So now, I'm searching for significance because my significance lies in what I do. If you ask any man in here, if you don't have a good job, or you don't have the right job, or you don't have the right stuff, those things can make us feel very down, even though everything around us may be going, going good, somehow we feel less significant. We feel less of a man because what we're doing is not bringing us the results that we desire to have. Right, right, right. So it leaves us in a challenge and a search for significance. Um, and it leads us to a challenge to have the desire to be in charge or to take control. Uh, it leads us as men of God to have a tendency to withdraw or be passive. Mm -hmm. So when we can't define ourselves by what we do and what we own, we have a tendency to withdraw and just kind of get quiet and not say a whole lot or become passive in what we do. Uh, it also